So right now I have set the audio at uh, minus 27 decibels. So let's see how exactly the audio quality is going to come. So right now there is a lot of external noise as well. If you are still able to hear the clear voice, then uh, it's really good. Around uh, 100 feet. So that's the distance. Right next to me, there is also a tractor that is going on right now. So this is with the Canon M50 Mark II mirrorless camera that I'm having right now. Let's see the quick setup to get clear voice. I've just purchased Rode Wireless Go To microphone. Let me show you things inside the box. At the time of me buying, the price was around 22,000, which might increase as well. Now inside the box, you get uh, one receiver and one transmitter. You also get two first. In this box, you get three cables. So the cable that you see, the red one, it is SC5 3.5 TRS cable, which is going to be used for connecting to the cameras and uh, USB cable for uh, charging uh, transmitter and receiver. Now let me show you how exactly you can connect to any DSLR or mirrorless camera. So uh, right now I'm going to show you with respect to US M50 Mark II mirrorless camera and usually the connection to other DSLRs would also be same. Inside the box along with other uh, cable you get this. So this is the receiver and this is the transmitter. Now usually many get confused which one connects where. So the one with the display this actually connects to your device. So in this case this is what is going to get connected to my camera so this is the receiver okay now before connecting we need to make sure that we do a quick setting in the camera to get a clear voice so what exactly we need to do let me just quickly turn this on and uh, let me go to menu let me go to menu okay so you are able to see the various options here now we need to go to the sound settings so sound recording is right now manual. I have set it to manual already. So usually in most cases it would be set to automatic. So if it is automatic, just change it to manual. Come to the recording levels and keep it as low as possible. So probably I would set it to something like this. Okay. So make sure you are setting it low so that you are going to get a clear voice from your microphone. That's what is going to be captured. Now the setting is done for this. Okay. Let's now see how to connect it. Now for connecting, you get this cable inside the box, which has similar pins on both the sides. Okay. So you don't have to worry which one should go to the camera and which one should go to the receiver. So they both are same. So you can connect any of them here. Let me just quickly open this slot. So this is how it looks. So this is the mic slot. Just open this. Okay. And gently push inside. Now this is connected. Now we need to connect the receiver. So let me just uh, show you how exactly to connect this. You see it has a clip like this okay so this is how the clip is all you need to do is just gently press and push it inside like this so now this is sitting comfortably on the mount now once this is connected take the other end and connect here and gently push it inside. Now this is connected. Now to turn this on, just press and hold this for around three to four seconds. Okay. So now you could see it is connected, but it is not giving the indication of our uh, transmitter. So now we also need to turn on the transmitter so let me just quickly turn on the transmitter hold for around three to four seconds and yes now this also turned on now both are connected now again for you to get clear voice you can adjust the 
decibels here. So right now it is showing as uh, 27 decibels. Now if you are having your microphone very uh, close to the range of you speaking, you can keep it to minus 27 decibels or something like this. So you have the button to adjust here, you can just press this. So by pressing this, you can keep changing it. If you go towards the extreme, 0 decibels, it is going to capture even the external noise as well. And when you come to minus 30 decibels, you are going to get very clear voice but uh, sometimes the voice may be very low. So that's where make sure you keep it anywhere between minus 27 to probably uh, minus 21 or something like that. Now how do you check this? So quickly record 2-3 test uh, trial uh, voice check and see what is coming really well for you. So this is the indoor volume testing and uh, right now at minus 21 decibels. So this is how the audio quality is. Now let me move it to 0 decibels so that you can clearly get the difference of it as well. So right now this is adjusted to 0 decibels and this is how the audio you are going to get. I am sure it would be pretty loud as well. So do this quick test uh, wherever you are going to record your video along with this audio and see what levels actually suit you and based on that configure your receiver according to that so that you can get crystal clear voice. I have given the product link in the video description certainly you can just click on that and buy as well and if you want to understand more about how to uh, set up everything for Canon M50 Mark II then just click on this info link to watch more on this. If this video was helpful then please do give a thumbs up, like it which also makes me feel happy to create more and more videos. Thank you very much. I am going to see you in the next video. If you have any queries just comment below. See you in the next video. Bye for now.